one of the 16 card readings that I do, which is more like a channeling. It is a direct channeling for you from the light beings. So tell me how it was to, um, to read through that and how it felt to actually read through all those pages of channeling that was especially for you. Mm. Oh, it was pretty amazing, actually. It was very incredibly detailed, incredibly like, it was like having someone kind of come into my life, but also read my energy and kind of almost, I, I know that you don't predict the future, but it felt like it was giving me all this information because I know, I know the way that you work and you allow whatever to come in. So you can't completely direct that. But what I received, because I must've been really open to that, it just was like, this, I was going to use the word flood, but it was like a flood of this information uh, that just came at me that I felt like I was almost speaking to a soul partner. That's how it felt. Like it was like a soul divine relationship that that person kind of knows me better than, like, I know that my husband knows me, but he knows me on a certain level or my friends know me mm -hmm. on a certain level. This felt like having a higher consciousness being who's tapped into what I know that I'm capable of coming in to like speak to me almost like a really beautiful mother and father. And as I talk about it, it's almost emotional because I don't have, like I have supportive parents to the best of their ability, but let's just say the relationships, they didn't really completely see my light or mm -hmm. communicate it in a very healthy kind of wasn't a lot of support there. So sort of, it really just felt like uh, it wasn't, it's not parental. It's more like higher consciousness, high being conversation of someone who's not there to dim you, project their fears onto you, make mm -hmm. you keep small. It was just, it's like a direct untampered conversation mm -hmm. with your highest like potential of where you need to go, what you need mm -hmm. to do. So it was thorough, um, really thorough, really detailed. The right, It was just exquisite. Um, and what I've also noticed, and I know we haven't really talked about it, but I know that we both know that it's been going on and I will uh, share that. Uh, <laughs> or maybe I haven't really expressed it really, but I feel like it's been like unspoken, uh, but it does need to be really uh, mentioned and acknowledged. So I feel that by inviting in that reading, I've invited in a deeper level of communication with a light, light being energy myself. Like I feel like there, this energy is around me. So mm -hmm. as I've been expanding, um, because if I've, if I've given you permission and I've paid for that exchange, yes. and you've allowed, I've given you, it's not really about paying for it. It's about giving you permission to connect to those beings mm -hmm. to, specifically talk about me otherwise why would you really be doing it right like so now it's like I've been given this gift of this access where I feel like there is a different frequency of course within me as I ascend but also around me by inviting that in so I am sure that it's also helped me to you know I'm a very driven person I've worked on myself a lot but I'm sure that and I take a lot of action but I'm sure that this invitation and the reading kind of has upped the ante. It's like turned up the volume on my own mystical energetic frequency. Mm -hmm. Does that make any sense to you? Totally, totally. Yeah. And a lot, a lot of people that have had the readings, they actually feel it as a healing. So when they're yes. reading the one, they can feel the presence and the energy and they can start to feel the shifts moving through them. So it's not a you know, traditional psychic reading of love, marriage, work in the old sense. It's a completely different type of work. And for example, there was one client that had a, a massive family rift. And after the reading, that, that rift and that shift happened and there's healing going on within the family. Oh, and yeah. People, and people feel seen and heard. And like you say, once that door is open, to this energy that comes through me, the, the support is there, the presence is there for you to tap into as well. So it's not a reading, it's a healing, it's an awakening, it's a very powerful experience, but in a way you have to experience it to know what it's like. Well, and they should experience it. You know, yeah. if anyone feels called to have that direct tap and that source and that energy and that type of level of deep insight and the healing, of course, then they have to experience it, you know, um, you know, with my work and what I do and until people get 
into having an intimate exchange heart to heart with me. They cannot ascertain anywhere near the value. So it's exactly like your work. And I, I, I mean, it was worth every cent. I, I would thoroughly recommend anyone, if, they, if they're wanting to dip their toe in and to just get an experience of Sally's power and the work and the, what she, how she channels and what she does. And if you're feeling any trepidation, get over it, just do it. And uh, just let it, let it go. It's just resistance. It's all whatever, um, really. And um, I have a deeper, deeper appreciation and it was just so valuable and such a powerful, powerful. And for me, I don't need to analyze it all. You know, some people I think can get scared off with a level of woo-woo-ness or whatever. So for me, what I do is I just trust. I just trust what is going to come to me, what will be there for me to receive, I suppose there's a level of surrender. And so I don't need to understand it all. All I know is that I'm going to get what I need to receive with the exchange. So I don't go into, so what is that really? And what are the light being? And how does she do it? I don't do that. I just go mm. into this receptive yeah. mode and I just trust that I will get what I need to get. And I definitely yeah. got that like tenfold. Yeah. Like it, it's, and it is like we were talking about my work. It's sometimes hard to really ex, uh, express it. Um, mm-hmm. But it really, yeah, it's just beautiful. I can't wait to do more work with you. So thank oh. you for the divine gift, Sally, of your oh, no. work. Thank you for being open and thank you for stepping forward for the reading. It's, it was an honour, really, to bring the energy through for you. Every time it's slightly different, obviously, for each client. But it was a very powerful reading and it was just... Mm. A delight. It was a delight. It was divine. It was divine. And you know, and I'll just say one thing is I keep going back to it and reading it. And when I read it, I just feel like it's even more like illuminating. Like it, it's it. Because mm-hmm. it's a the lot. There's a, yes. And there's a lot. There's a lot of depth in it. It's just not like a little tiny paragraph or a, you'd really, there's a lot of information. So, and I think, you know, you know around about, yeah, yeah. How long? How much? There was about 12 pages for the 16 card reading. Okay. It's, about it's a lot. Yeah. It's a, little, it's, a lot. Yeah. It's, it's a lot. It's beautiful. So thank, thank you. Thank you so much, Ingrid. Thank you for sharing. Bye, Bye darling. <laughs>